Hello and welcome back. Rockets have been used to send people to the moon, send robots to Mars, launch the space shuttle and satellites into orbit, and even to explore the depths of space. Understanding how rocket engines work is essential to understanding the science and technology behind space exploration. At 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engines running. We have a liftoff. Let's take a basic look of what makes a rocket move. Like many from a very young age, I have always been fascinated by space travel. I used to watch as the space shuttle would travel to perform amazing missions, and now I get so excited each and every time I watch a SpaceX launch. My father always taught me about the Apollo missions and sending astronauts to the moon. Rockets are amazing feats of engineering, and space travel continues to fascinate me. My son recently asked me, how do rockets propel into space? To answer that question, like so often, I decided to make a video. To understand how rocket engines work, we first need to understand the basic physics of thrust and momentum. Simply put, thrust is the force that propels a rocket forward, while momentum is the mass and velocity of the rocket that determines how quickly it can accelerate. Rocket engines work by expelling a high-velocity stream of gas out of the back of the rocket, which creates an equal and opposite force that propels that rocket forward. This is known as Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The amount of thrust that a rocket engine can produce depends on the mass flow rate of the gas being expelled and the velocity at which it is expelled. The higher the mass flow rate and velocity, the greater the thrust. However, this also means that the rocket will consume more fuel and become heavier as it accelerates. There are several different types of rocket engines, each with their own advantages and disadvantages, depending on the specific mission requirements. The most common types are solid fuel rockets and liquid fueled rockets. Solid fuel rockets are the simplest and most reliable type of rocket engine. They consist of a solid fuel mixture that is ignited to produce a high velocity gas stream. Solid fuel rockets are typically used as boosters to provide initial liftoff thrust for a rocket. Liquid fuel rockets are more complex but offer greater control and flexibility. They use liquid propellants that are pumped into a combustion chamber where they are ignited to produce a high velocity gas stream. Liquid fuel rockets can be shut down and restarted, allowing for precise control of the rocket's speed and trajectory. Regardless of the type of rocket engine, all rocket engines consist of several key components that work together to produce thrust. These include the combustion chamber, nozzle, and propellant tanks. The combustion chamber is where the fuel and oxidizer are mixed and burned to produce a high velocity gas stream. The shape and design of the combustion chamber can affect the performance of the engine as it determines how effectively the fuel and oxidizer are mixed and burned. The nozzle is the exit point of the combustion chamber, where the high velocity gas stream is expelled to produce the thrust. The shape of the nozzle can also affect the performance of the engine as it determines the velocity and direction of the gas stream. The propellant tank holds the fuel and oxidizer that are used to power the engine. The size and capacity of the propellant tanks depend on the mission requirements of the rocket, as well as the type of engine being used. In conclusion, rocket engines are a critical component of space exploration. The basic principle of rocket propulsion is based on Newton's third law of motion, and rocket engines are designed to expel hot exhaust gases to create that thrust needed. Understanding the components of rocket engines is essential to understanding how they work and how they are used in spaceflight. It excites me to know that perhaps one of you could one day be an astronaut being the first to land on distant planets using rocket technology. I hope this video has been informative to you future space explorers, 
and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.